All Baltimore Ravens got some great news And you know nowadays we could use all the great news We could possibly get because we keep hearing about Injury after injury after injury Mark Andrews who missed last week's game Against the Houston Texans uh, And this week he had been limited in practice All up until today because today, Mark Andrews was not a 25% participant. He was not a 50% participant. He was a full participant in practice. And man, <laughs> having Mark Andrews back, man, that makes such a big difference for the Baltimore Ravens offense. We know we lost this guy and that guy and that guy and that guy and that guy. But having Mark Andrews out, that was huge, man. So him being back in the lineup, it makes it better for this guy, Odell Beckham Jr., that guy, Zay Flowers, this guy, Devin Duvernay, that guy, Nelson Aguilar, this guy, Lamar Jackson, that guy, Gus Edwards, this guy, Justice Hill, and he just makes everybody's job easier because the more good, excuse me, the more great players you have out there, because Mark Andrews is a great player, I said it, I'll say it again, Mark Andrews is a great player player the more great players you have out there the better off your football team is and with Mark Andrews being back in the lineup that makes Lamar's job that much easier now Lamar he was throwing that thing all over the field the other day but something that I felt was missing just a bit were the tight ends I felt like the tight ends were MIA that game. We know uh, Isaiah Likely, he had one catch. Uh, Charlie Kohler, he had one drop. Uh, so it wasn't pretty for the tight ends. But with Mark Andrews, hey, Mark Andrews might get a little drop in here and there. Uh, but when he get it out of his system, Mark Andrews is good to go after that. So having Mark Andrews back in this lineup, that helps your offense on first, second, third. That helps him in the red zone. Hel helps him everywhere because Mark Andrews and Lamar Jackson, you know they always just one big play away. It's, it's, it's always just right there. So I'm, I'm glad that he's back, man. So th this is a, a beautiful, beautiful thing. Because like we said, Lamar Jackson, he was throwing it down the sideline. Threw some passes down the sideline. And Zay Flowers, Odell Beckham Jr., he was throwing in the middle of the field too. But now Mark Andrews, somebody who can work the middle of the field like no other. And I mean, he can work the, 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 the sideline passes too. So he can do it all. So the more people that you have that can do it all, yeah, that makes your offense be able to do it all. And again, Ravens off 25 points last week. Against a, a good Texans defense, but 25 points last week with all the penalties. 25 points last week with all the rustiness. 25 points last week with all the mistakes. And not saying that they're going to be super perfect now since Mark Andrews is back, but they should be better. And you're going to need to be better against a very battered, bruised up. The Eagles got beat up last week, the Bengals team. The Eagles got beat up big time. So they're going to be looking to bounce back against Baltimore. So anyway, um, also injury report uh, with the good news. We got to we got to sprinkle in some bad news as well. You know how that goes. It can't all be good. We wish it could, but eventually it will. But anyway, uh, with the bad news, Marlon Humphrey, Tyler Linderbaum, Ronnie Stanley and Marcus Williams, all four of them have been officially ruled out for this game, meaning they will not be playing. Uh, none of them practiced this week, so none of this is a surprise. Uh, I think the only one that we were all holding on to some type of hope for uh, was probably uh, Marlon Humphrey, at least in my opinion, because with Marlon Humphrey, he talked about it on his Punchline podcast. Hey, maybe this might be the week. He said he was feeling good, but he's just not there yet. But when he didn't practice, when he didn't practice on Wednesday, I'm like, oh, okay. When he didn't practice Thursday, I said, oh, okay. And I, I didn't even expect him to practice on Friday, and he didn't. So he is out. Marcus Williams, as we know, he's going to be out for a while. Ronnie Stanley and Tyler Linderbaum, those guys, uh, we don't know how long they're going to be out for exactly. Harbaugh did call them week to week. So it could be any day now, but it could be any day now. Uh, so it could be closer, could be a little further. We just got to wait it out and see. Um, but we will be anticipating their return when they get back. Now, another offensive lineman uh, who did not practice today, which gave us a little bit of a scare. I said, oh. He's told it. it was uh, John Simpson. Uh, John Simpson, he didn't practice today. Uh, and I was thinking, oh, no. I, I hope we really not about to have another one out. But he, they said he didn't practice because he has some good personal uh, family stuff to attend to. So that's always a good thing, especially when it's good family stuff. When it's bad family stuff, it's unfortunate. But when it's good family stuff, hey, we all for it. Uh, so John Simpson, he should be good to go uh, this Sunday against those Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, and that is certainly going to be a game.
It's certainly going to be a game. It's a division game uh, right off the bat. Uh, both teams are coming off some really just painful games. Bengals, painful because the way that they got beat down. Ravens, painful because they won, but their team got beat down. So going into this game against the Cincinnati Bengals, uh, Ravens are hurt. Ravens are battered. Ravens are bruised up too. But I'm still taking Ravens 27-24 in overtime against the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, last year, again, in that playoff game, Ravens, like, we went into that playoff game. I was hoping that they would win. I was excited for the playoff game. But in the back of your mind, even in the front of a lot of people's minds, it was thinking, all right, well, uh, what's the worst that could happen? We ain't got Lamar Jackson. We missing a bunch of people. We hurt. Uh, Tyler Huntley's our starter. And that's no offense to him, of course. But... I feel like expectations were crazy low. But the Baltimore Ravens, in Baltimore Ravens fashion, they brought it to those Cincinnati Bengals, and they were a fumble return away from that game being completely different. But now, while you are missing a lot of players, you're missing a lot of key players, to a lot of key players, some significant guys, some that will be back later this season, some that may not be back this season, and one that officially won't be back this season in J.K. Dobbins. So your team is down a lot. But one thing that these Baltimore Ravens do have that is great news for us is Lamar Jackson. And we've said it a countless amount of times because it's true. We've seen it with Lamar Jackson, with QB1, who, who will hopefully be changing his number to one next year. With Lamar Jackson, you can never count the Baltimore Ravens out. You just can't, man. And I know some people may want to, and some people may for whatever reason. That's fine. It is what it is. But in my opinion, if Lamar Jackson is playing, you can never count the Ravens out because he always gives them a chance. So with the way that the Baltimore Ravens played the Bengals in that playoff game last year, even the way that they played them for a good amount of time in that week 17 or week 18 game, whichever it was, the Ravens have shown like, hey, even though we're down, even though we're dealing with a lot of injuries, even though we got this guy, that guy, and a third and fourth and fifth and sixth guy out with injury, we can still bring it. And that's one thing that I, I will give John Harbaugh credit for that because we've seen it over the years, even when the team has been beat up big time, that the way that they coach this team, they, they may not win a lot of those games where they beat up and whatnot, but they will keep it close. So now you have your superstar quarterback in this game. Lamar Jackson hasn't played against the Cincinnati Bengals in Cincinnati, I think they said in a couple of years. It's just weird how everything has worked out or really not worked out uh, when it's come to that. Uh, but with Lamar Jackson, you, you have your superstar at quarterback. You have him, and Lamar Jackson is him. You got him there. So that's, that's all the difference in the world for me, man. So I do think it's going to be tough. I do think it's going to be some ugly moments in this game on both sides of the ball for both teams. But I do see the Ravens prevailing by a Justin Tucker field goal for the win. Uh, so we'll see how this thing goes. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video uh, and subscribe to our other channel if you want just content about the entire NFL. All of it. All the updates, all the breaking news, anything going on just in the league. Subscribe to our other channel called More Engraving Vids. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. And just like about half the Baltimore Ravens roster is right now due to injury, we out.